and welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a daily Does This Resonate uh, with you. And in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at you and your person. I'm gonna be seeing what's going on. If you're new to this series on the channel, this is where I look at you and a particular energy that uh, is either coming into your life, is currently in your life, this could be anybody, okay? It doesn't have to you know, be a, a particular person. It doesn't have to be for love. It could be money. It could be a family member. It could be a financial situation. Take it as it resonates, okay? The idea here is to keep your mind open when listening to these readings uh, to see if there's an important message that you need to know, okay? Now, before I get started with the Daily Does This Resonate, this is going to be, I believe, number 20 that we're doing. Uh, I want to make a quick announcement about what is coming up on the channel um, because I know some of you have been waiting for me to do um, individual readings, which I will be doing in one um, video as an all signs. So I have prepared that. I'm going to get ready to do that for you. Now, here are the conditions, okay? And I'm letting you all know this uh, before we actually get started to be aware, okay? This all signs reading that I do, is going to require a certain amount of views, a certain amount of likes, and a certain amount of comments for me to continue uh, doing these readings on the channel, okay? So if I do not get a certain amount of likes, views, uh, participation in the reading, and I just have people coming, watching the reading, and not participating, then I will not do it anymore, okay? And I'm letting you all know that in advance, okay? Why? Because I have other stuff that I you know, need to be doing that's calling my attention, and I'm not going to remain... Uh, being proactive on the channel, doing things if I'm not getting the engagement that I need, okay? So the requirements for the All Signs reading that I'm doing needs to have 100,000 views on it. It needs to have 10,000 likes and it needs to have 500 comments, okay? If those three, uh, if those three things are met, then I will make time to do each individual sign for free on the channel. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm letting you all know that in advance. Okay. So moving forward, if that's the case and it doesn't reach the requirements that I've set out, then I will continue to do the daily. Does it resonate? And there will be an extended attached to that. Okay. So I need you all to work together. <laughs> I need you to come together as a community and I need you to support one another. Okay. That's the only way we're going to get through this together. So I need you to participate. That means liking this video, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and staying subscribed to the channel, all right? Now, before I get started, I'm going to announce the winners. Well, not winners, everybody's a winner on this channel. Uh, I'm gonna be announcing the signs that I'm gonna be doing in order. And the signs are based on the amount of participation. So the more you vote for your sign, the more your sign is gonna be done before all the other signs. You don't vote, you sleep, you sit in the background, you don't participate, the less likely it is that you're going to get what you want from me, okay? That's how it works, it's a two-way street here. Okay, two-way street. I'm not gonna be doing all the work while you guys sit back. I, that's not how I function, okay? So first sign that, um, that one number one is Aquarius. Thank you, Aquarius. Aquarius has been proactive on the channel. They've been liking, they've been subscribed. So congratulations, Aquarius is the sign that I will first be doing. Then there's Pisces, then Leo, Virgo, Taurus. Then we have, I believe we have Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, and then we have uh, Sagittarius and Gemini. I think there's one sign that I missed. Okay. But it's, some, it's, it's there on the community. I don't remember uh, everything, but if you want to know the order of the signs, it will be in the community if you're interested. Okay. So I need your guys participation. When I see you participating, I can do more for you. Otherwise I'm going to be doing a lot of things in private. Okay. From now on, which means I'm not going to be here all the time. If you're not here, Okay, that's how it's going to be. Um, and I want to be here for you all, but I need you to be here for me as well too, okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's see what's taking place for you. This is the daily Does It Resonate. It doesn't matter what sign you are. When you click on it, it's for you, period, end of story. Um, if you need a message, this is probably going to be your reading. Keep an open mind while you're listening. Do not have a set outcome that you want. Just be free and open to allow what needs to happen for you, okay? All right, let's see what's taking place. Tell me about the collective, give me one card for the collective. 
Give me one card for the collective. Okay, first card for the collective. Ooh, ouch. What happened collective over the weekend? <laughs> Five of cups. So I feel for some of you, there is this disappointing energy, okay? Third party. Some of you don't even know about this. Some of you are not even aware of it. Um, for many of you, I think the common theme for the past few readings that I've done is third party, um, being treated as an option, really needing to recognize your value. Okay. And this is something that I've been reiterating on the channel now for weeks, uh, simply about recognize your value. Now, some of you keep going back to somebody or you keep focusing on something here that just doesn't work. You're forcing a situation, um, this has led to multiple third parties. It's led to somebody, um, putting you on the back burner. And a lot of you feel sorry for yourself. And now is the time for you to recognize that there's a shift. I know I've mentioned it <laughs> millions of times that we are going through a shift right now. And a lot of us, there's going to be those of us who move forward and there's going to be those of us who are left behind. Okay. So depending on, uh, who you are and your situation, uh, it's going to vary for many of you. You're in the five of cups energy right now. Of course, we're going to go through the reading. We're going to see why there is some sort of disappointment here. Okay. And it's connected to a relationship, marriage, or commitment that you're involved in. Tell me about the collectives person. Tell me about the collectives person. Tell me about the collectives person. Your person. We have the six of swords. Okay. So somebody here is left. You're dealing with somebody who left you, ghosted you, uh, abandoned you. This person does want to have a new beginning, but I'm not sure if it's going to be with you. Okay. Here's what I need to tell you collective in this reading. Like I've said to all of you, readings are only for those of you who need them. Okay. It's not going to resonate with all of you. If you have a perfect life and your life is amazing and everything is great, the chances of the reading resonating with you is probably zero. Okay. Because you don't need it. Spirit is only going to come in and help those of you who truly need the message. Okay. Right now, some of you are dealing with someone who's tired of you. Okay. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you you're great and amazing. I'm going to sit up here and tell you what you need to change in order to have a better result and outcome in your life. Okay. For many of you, this has a lot to do with something. Um, you're forcing something. You are forcing a situation. You're trying to control the situation and this person doesn't want to be controlled anymore. They're disconnecting. They're leaving. Um, a lot of you may or may not realize that there's something better out there for you. Some of you have encountered a better situation, uh, for you. Okay. So this is about recognizing what is not for you. Okay. At this time. So let's get into the reading. Let's see what's going on. How are you viewing this person? How are you viewing this person? How are they viewing you? How do you feel about this person? How do they feel about you? Actions you're likely to take actions. They're likely to take the outcome, your love lesson, their love lesson, what you want to say to them, what they want to say to you. Bottom of the deck, you have the uh, excuse me, the three of pentacles. Okay. So the overall energy between you and this person is cooperation. What you're learning right now is you're learning how to cooperate. You have an idea of how you want this relationship to go. This person has an idea of how this relationship wants to go in order for a relationship to work. Okay. And you all know I'm married. You all know that I have kids, so I can speak on this stuff. I'm not going to sit up here, give you advice. And I have never been through something. Okay. The way a relationship works is usually two parties come together. Usually one party wants something. The other party wants something else. And it's important that when you come together, that you both can, you know, have both of your needs met. Okay. And this is the challenge with relationships. What you actually don't see coming is the three of pentacles, which is a beautiful energy because even though right now, okay, and I'm going to tell you this right now, collective time doesn't matter. All of us are so focused on time. All of us are like, what well, time is it? I need to be here. I need to be there, but we're moving out of the 3d energy into the 5d. Every day we're, we're moving out of the Kali Yuga. We're moving towards the golden age. It's going to take uh, centuries for us to get there, but we're slowly increasing our consciousness every day. All of us are becoming more enlightened and more aware of things in our life that we need to change. So time is irrelevant when it comes to you and this person. And there's going to be moments in time when there's separation, you and this person don't get along, there's issues. 
But one of the things that you don't see is there's still potential here for you and this person. It may, there may not be potential with this person. It may be with someone new. It may be with this person. Again, I don't know until I see the cards. Um, but what you don't see coming, which I think is extremely beautiful, three of pentacles, cooperation, collaborating, talking. Some of you may not realize this, but if this is someone you've been married to or you've had issues with for quite some time, there will be a point in time where you and this person will actually be able to go to couples counseling, or you may have some sort of third um, person come in to help you resolve issues. Because for many of you, you and this person have been feeling alone, or there's been some sort of worry connected to this connection. And a lot of you want things to change. Okay. Some of you are needing to let go of, um, somebody who's been toxic in your life for quite some time. You've been ignoring this. It's time for you to let go of the situation and allow the situation to evolve the way it needs to. For many of you, you continue to hold on to someone that you know, you need to let go of, which is actually stopping the the actual soulmate or person that you're meant to have in your life. Okay. And that's an important message um, for some of you. Okay. So how are you viewing this person? Let's see. You have the star beautiful. Some of you watching this, your cancer, you have sun, moon or rising cancer, um, or you have cancer somewhere prominent in your chart. Your person may be Aquarius cancer or uh, Gemini. Okay. Sun, moon or rising. You love this person, but you view them as someone who uh, rejects you finds you boring, doesn't appreciate your value. And I'm going to tell you something right now, what we're all learning. And this is why a lot of you have seen me change on the channel since the beginning of the year. I'm no longer in this energy of just doing stuff for people. I'm recognizing who recognizes me. And why do I keep doing this? A lot of you are saying, congratulations. Like I like this attitude that you have and everything. And I'm, and I'm so glad that you're encouraging me as a community because I am a representation of you. I am showing you how you can get what you want. Okay. And, and sometimes getting what you want doesn't always mean being nice. Sometimes you have to be assertive. Sometimes you have to tell it like it is. For many of you, you love this person. They're a soulmate. There's somebody that you see yourself having a future with, but the problem is you view this person as somebody who ignores you or they act like they're not interested. And the problem is, is you're too on this person. You're too 24 seven chasing them. And listen, you need to mirror yourself. You need to see the behavior that you're giving to this person, because if you're being, um, especially if you're a divine feminine and you're chasing this person and you have no life other than chasing this person, that's something that I'm going to tell you right now is unattractive. Okay. Especially as a divine feminine, as a divine feminine, you should have your own thing going on. Okay. I'm not 24 seven up on my husband. I don't do that. I have my own thing, my own business. And you know, when I have time to hang out with him, I hang out with him. So a lot of you are learning this. Okay. And it's hard, right? Because you know, you see this person and you're in love with them and you really want to be with them. Um, and you want to have a future with them, but you need to allow things to flow. Okay. And this is also water energy, five of cups, allowing something here to flow. A lot of you need to allow your emotions to flow, your energy to flow. A lot of you are focused on the negatives instead of the positives. So this is how you're viewing this person. You're viewing this person as someone you want to be with. You want a future with them, but you're too all up on them. And when you're too all up on them, they're kind of like, Ugh. Like imagine if someone was doing that to you, if someone was 24 seven bothering you, right? It's just not attractive. This is something that you need to, uh, recognize within yourself that you may need to change. All right. Your person, how are they viewing you at this time? We have the five of swords. This five of swords has been a common theme in all the readings. So somebody here needs to recognize their behavior. You have the two of pentacles and you have the ace of swords. You keep forcing this person collective. And this is why for many of you, I'm going to keep it real. It's going to be a harsh reading. Okay. So click out, click off now, click, click off now. If you can't handle it, cause it's going to be a harsh reading. It's going to be really hard. Okay. I'm going to, okay. That's how it has to be. If you want things to change, then I have to be honest with you. I cannot sit up here, tell you what you want to hear, be your best friend all the time and take your money. <laughs> going to do that. I'm going to keep it real with you. Listen, I'm going to tell you how this person's viewing you. They're viewing you as somebody who's very dominant. You have a very dominant energy. You constantly want to be in control. Um, you're somebody who it doesn't, um, any way, shape or form you're winning. 
You don't care if you have to bulldoze over somebody, if you have to be loud, if you have to be mean, you don't care what you need to do. And, and you keep giving this person an ultimatum. You better commit to me or else. You better this or else. You better, you know, and some of you are chasing this person. And this person's like, she's crazy or he's crazy, right? Um, so right now you're being viewed as somebody who's being very forceful. You're not being loving. There's not a loving energy here. There's a, you're gonna do this or I'm leaving. You're gonna do this or we're not gonna be together. Um, you're not gonna tell me what to do because I'm the boss, right? So the vision that you have for this person is future love, but you're being rejected. And I'm telling you why you're being rejected because like I said to you in the previous readings, love is not something that's forced. It's something that flows naturally. Something that, um, you know, when you come together with this person, it's something that you both want, not just something you want one way. A lot of you are trying to control a situation and this is why this person energetically is disconnecting from you. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it real. Now, how does this person, or how do you, excuse me, how do you feel about this person? So you feel like this person is a new love. For many of you, this is a new love. And this is where you need to tread carefully. You need to tread extremely, extremely carefully because I'm going to tell you right now, collective, you've been going through a cycle. Some of you start a relationship with someone and then it doesn't work out. And then you're like, okay, I'm just going to find someone new. And then you find somebody new and it's the same cycle over and over and over and over again. Okay. For many of you, you feel like moving forward with this person. Some of you are at a distance with this person and you feel like this person breadcrumbs you or they just don't give you enough. Okay. And this is where the universe is going to show you where you're wrong because you're not in control. Every time you believe or you think in your mind that you're, you know, you're in control, you're running the show. You're not, you need to learn to flow. If you're watching this and this resonates with you and you're a divine feminine, you need to learn how to be in your feminine energy. It's, it's like everybody's talking about it online, but nobody is following through on it. Um, and then when things don't work out your way, you start to become the victim, right? Well, he should have done this or she should have done that. Um, they don't really care about me or I'm going to stop dating. I'm going to stop. No, you're going to stop dating and stop finding love because you don't listen. You don't listen. And every time you don't take advice from the right people, that's what's happening. Okay. There's people online that are going to give you the right advice. You cannot take advice from somebody who hasn't been there. You need to take advice from someone who's been there. So for many of you, you feel like this is a new love. They've been distant with you. You don't know where you stand with them. You feel like they're breadcrumbing you. Um, some of you have these, and this is why I said, you know, I'm going to be doing this course, this, it's not a course, it's a membership, right? Where I teach you how to reprogram your mind, because for many of you, you have a problem with that. You keep doing the same old patterns over and over again. You just sabotage, sabotage, sabotage. And then, you know, there's this constant, do a reading, do a reading, do a reading. I do a reading, but you still go back and do the same thing. So what's the point of me doing a reading if you keep going back and doing the same thing? You don't want this person or you don't want your love life to remain being in this cycle, but you don't change. So how do you expect something to change if you're not willing to change? How do they feel about you? This person right now feels like you're so focused on yourself. Like you come across as narcissistic. I'm going to keep it real with you. You overindulge in eating. You, you overeat, you know, you're, you're very focused on yourself. And this is anybody who's advocating this behavior. And I know some people online talk about it. It's like, just focus on yourself, focus on yourself, you know, expect this and that from everybody, but you need to expect this from yourself. Okay. When you are overindulgent, when you're only focused on yourself, what this person feels is that you need to come to a realization that in order for this to work, if you want this person to be around, you need to also, con uh, you need to also consider this person's wants and needs as much as you want, have wants and needs for yourself. Cause this is what's keeping you alone. A lot of you are like, I'm tired of being single. I'm tired of being alone. And some of you are actually attracting new love, but you don't know how to go about that new love. A lot of you are like, Ooh, I have a new love coming and you're chasing, you're running after them. You're desperate. You're not in your feminine. You're controlling the situation. Hun, this isn't your corporate job. Love is not your corporate job, babe. It's not your nine to five. Okay. Love is a completely different energy that you need to be in. Okay. Once the corporate job or the business or whatever you're doing is done, you know, it's time for you to recognize that you need to shift your energy. So this person right now feels like you're selfish. Some of you are Leo, 
um, Aries, Sagittarius, you could be a Pisces here. I'm also getting a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? So there's a selfish energy here. This person doesn't like that. That's why they're disconnecting from you, okay? Actions you're likely to take towards this person. You're gonna move towards this person in a toxic energy. Some of you have already done this. Some of you are, again, forcing the situation. Some of you are overly, um, you're overly attracted to this person from a sexual perspective instead of a loving perspective, instead of a, um, an angelic perspective. A lot of you, this is going to end quicker than it started. I'm going to keep it real with you. It's going to end quicker than it started because you're very stubborn. Whoever's watching this and if it resonates, some of you are going to say, Hey Monica, not my reading girl. It's not my reading. That's fine. But you're, you got to be honest with yourself. If you want your life to change, you need to be honest with yourself. You cannot expect me to sit up here every day, tell you what you want to hear. You stay in the same cycle because you know what that means? It means I don't care about you. That's what it means. It means I don't care about you. I don't want to see you improve. It means I want to keep you trapped. Do I look like someone who wants to keep you trapped? No, I want to see you strive. I want to, I want you to come back to this channel and say, you know what, Monica, girl, I know you were harsh with me. <laughs> I know you said things to me that I, I was denying within myself, but you know, I thought about it. I watched the reading a couple of times and I thought about what you said. And you know what? You're right. I do need to change. And you want to know something? I'm going to pat those of you on the back who agree and say, you know what? You're right. I do need to change things within myself if I truly want my life to get better. Because a lot of you want your life to get better, but you don't recognize the truth and honesty that you need to have within yourself for that to happen. The first step is realizing that you don't know what you're doing, that you need help. And when you realize that you're wrong, that's when your life gets better. But when you sit up there and you say, it's not me, I'm perfect, I'm amazing, I'm great, that's, that's an egotistical energy that you need to let go of. You need to let go of it. Otherwise, a lot of you are going to stay alone. A lot of you are going to, you know, regret the fact that, you know, you didn't accomplish this X, Y, and Z. So there's a lot of stuff here that you're doing that are toxic and it keeps coming up every day. It keeps coming up devil. That's how you're going towards this person. I want it now. Some of you are over drinking with this person. Some of you are over, over sexualizing the situation. Some of you are getting way too intimate with this person. You don't even know who this person is. They're a new love. You're becoming way too intimate with somebody that you don't even know their last name. Do you know their birthday? Have you studied them astrologically? I always advocate on this channel. First of all, you should know your person's date of birth. You should know what sign your person is. You should know their sun, their moon and rising. You should know, you know, when was this person born? What time was this person born? You should study this person. So something starts very quickly and ends very quickly. And then you end up sitting there and, and trying to figure out why. In the extended, we're going to talk about this and something that you need to be aware of. Okay. Actions. This person's likely to take towards you. This person is going to set things right with you when you recognize where you're wrong, because if you come towards this person acting like you're perfect, amazing, and great, you may be perfect, amazing, and great in your job. You may be perfect and amazing in your business, but you still need work on love. You do. And to accomplish love and money, baby, I've accomplished it. Hello, right here. I've accomplished it. And you know what? It wasn't easy for me because I had to go through trials, errors, and failures. But you know what? I worked on myself. Okay. This person wants and believes that they're going to have success with you. They believe that things are going to change, but it's going to take time for things to change. This person is successful. Whoever you're dealing with, they're very successful. They're sexy. They look good. They're somebody who's confident, but they're somebody who wants balance within a relationship. You're not going to come towards this person, tell them what you want, give them an ultimatum and then expect them to act a certain way because this person's not submissive. This person is someone who knows who they are. They're attractive. They can literally have anybody they want why would they want to be with you? I'm not saying that they don't. I'm just saying, why would they want to be with you? You need to give this re this person a reason why they should even consider you. Okay. Your love lesson here is become the empress. I've been saying this to you. I've been telling you step inside of your feminine energy, follow what the empress does. The empress is pregnant for nine months. She's not, um, you know, she's not sitting there and, 
uh, forcing a situation. She has to go through a process. Do you recognize that there's a process to love or are you just kind of jumping into it and expecting to get married right away and just kind of go, go with it? There's a process. We're going to talk about that more in the extended. Your person's love lesson here is to be the emperor. Yes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Woo. You see, you two are meant for each other, but if you're not playing your role and this person's not playing their role, it's not going to work. Okay. It's like, you know, when you put a, you have a, a remote control, okay. A converter or whatever you call it. And you put batteries in Well, there's a plus and there's a minus. There's not two minuses. There's not two pluses in order for you to work. You both need to understand, understand and overstand your roles in the extended. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what you both want to say and the outcome. I want to thank you all very, very much for taking the time out to like this video, comment, subscribe, and for being here with me. And I will see you all in the extended.